Greetings students, this is a tutorial to help any of you not familiar with using Hypothesis, an annotation tool. So in your Canvas pages, when you first open this assignment, you will most likely be prompted to authorize Hypothesis to run on your system. And so you should click Authorize or whatever kind of pop-up message you get so that the, can, um, the Hypothesis program can go ahead and open up. I think it's called a plugin. Once it's open, you'll see uh, a, our reading, this reading that's also in your module to read, not within the Hypothesis frame here. <clears throat> um, set into this program that will allow you to annotate. So I'm going to show you a few tricks. First of all, you're going to notice that there is a button right here, or actually a little side triangle, an arrow. You can click that to enlarge. So you can make your way through the reading and you can adjust the size of the text using the plus and minus here. So that way you can get yourself into a place where it's comfortable to read. Now, once you have done that, I'm going to now, you can, and you've read through the text, you'll want to find um, text to highlight that relates to the instructions above this canvas, this hypothesis window. So you should read that separately. I'm not going to go over that in this video. But let's say, for example, I will highlight right here because I think this is perhaps a confusing sentence or um, a, a phrase or a sentence that relates to something in the questions that are posted for this assignment. Um, so I can go ahead and then click annotate. Immediately the um, window collapses or oh, actually um, divides. So now you have a side um, area to type and so you can say um, the highlighted text here is not clear to me because I don't know what the author means by political change and you could write that or you could be relating this um, Annotation to one of the questions above here, questions to consider. And in that case, you could begin by copying the question, scrolling down, entering it, and then hitting, I think, return, return, yes, and then, and then type a response. I think that this passage indicates an example of, and then you can relate it back to the question. So you should have, when you um, complete this assignment, you should have a total of 12 annotations. And in the instructions you can see here, the first three are sections you need to highlight that you found unclear, and you need to pose questions. The second step here, well, the, the second group of questions that total three are going to be drawn from the above list here. Steps one and two are preparation, so they're not relating to actual annotation. Hence, the first annotation group that you must do is indicated as step three. Step four is questions from um, those above that you're responding to. And then step five, don't forget this step. It's very important. You want to um, select three works of art that you think are particularly interesting and relate to the author's theme of the question of naming and what that means. And this is usually something students really enjoy. You don't need to write a lot of text about the work of art, but a few lines. And you are welcome to paraphrase or quote using quotation marks from the text itself to emphasize the meaning of the um, work. And then finally, you'll need here to comment on three of your peers' annotations, and I would like to see you 
attempt to answer your peers' questions or support them. So to clarify with a work of art, when you're selecting the three works of art, you're going to want to go down to the work of art here, and you'll need to highlight the figure that it relates to. So this is figure two, Vivian Brown in Rachel, and you can highlight all of the subtitle or part of it, but it will be clear to all of us that you're referring to this work of art here. And then you want to, you can annotate. And then you can see here that the annotation repeats itself above your annotation. So what you've highlighted. So you may not want to highlight all of this. In fact, oops, I wonder. You might want to um, remove a little bit if you wish to, but I don't see, I think there's, you can do that by just canceling it. So you cancel and then you can highlight just a little and then hit annotate. And then you can write your response to the first image and then do this three times. And then lastly, you'll want to respond to your peers. So again, you'll have a total of 12 annotations. If you are missing some annotations, I do take away points from your final answer. But um, I look really forward to your, um, to your postings. And this is a great way to get deep into a text together. And this is your major reading assignment for this week as well. So you, you are engaging with it independently as a reading assignment and then here in Hypothesis as an interactive project or um, interactive engagement with your peers to, to work with this um, text. So enjoy and feel free as always to write to me if you have any questions or you are confused.